Hey guys, my name is Toby and today I'm going to just share a little unboxing and my impressions of the Rode Wireless GO 2. Now I know we usually get excited about cameras and lenses and that kind of a thing, but you know, the first version of the Wireless GO uh, was, was, a, was a game changer and I think they've done it again, they've actually <laughs> have been able to do it again. So let me just let you know the few things that I am excited about. First off is the fact that there's two receivers. There's two receivers and two channels. So you can record them what they call in merge or split. Merge together in one channel, uh, you know, in stereo or one in one in each track. And that that's huge. I mean, there is a price up I think is $100 more, but this alone is massive. You don't have to rig two wireless goes together i think there are some kind of setups like that if you wanted to record two people like in an interview or some other kind of situation two transmitters one receiver and the ability to record split tracks is amazing it is it is so so good the next thing they did was on board recording that means the tra the transmitters are little recorders in and of themselves this is amazing because for a few years i was basically trying to set this up with uh, the road wireless go transmitter and i had to attach a little tascam dr10 uh, receiver and that way i could record and still uh, have a backup but now it's all inside this little box and not only that it, it can record in a uncompressed format now i haven't played around with that and, and we'll see how it sounds but this is this is amazing I mean, the, I, I can't believe it. Two transmitters, both that can record uncompressed audio. I think that's up to seven hours. If you want to record longer, I think it's up to 40 something hours. So there's just so much there for you. Now this brings us to Rode Central, which is the software that interacts with the Wireless Go version two. I think there's an app as well. And I've just loaded it up and checked it out. Uh, and this opens the door to so many things. Instead of just a little screen there that you have to deal with, there are so many possibilities. Of course, this is where you download the tracks that you record on the transmitters. There's a whole bunch of other settings. Like, for example, you can set your fine controls in terms of the decibel settings on the receiver. So before it was just like three settings or something like that. Now you, you can move up in three decibel increments and you do that in the road central. Now, one of the things I was wondering was with the software, would a lot of the functions be locked in there? And if you were sh shooting already, would you be able to change the setup and those kinds of things? Well, in terms of the transmitters recording, you do need to set that up in the Rode Central, but uh, simple things like whether you want to record merge or split, you can do that on the fly very easy. It's just holding those two buttons on the receiver and you'll see one bar, one track, or you'll see a split track in terms of two different channels. And I think that is probably what you'll need to decide on and what will change the most, whether you're recording two people or one person and how you want to deal with that. Now, just in terms of the physical body and the element itself, it's pretty much identical to the Rode Wireless Go version one. Uh, they do deliver with flat, flatter cables now, which is, I guess, a thing that Rode has done in the last few years. It's new to me. It does seem shorter to me, the recording uh, cable, uh, but you know, I, I don't think it's going to be a big problem. They do also have three USB-A to USB-C cables for charging and connecting with the computer. If you're going to use the Rode Wireless Go app, I guess I haven't downloaded it, you'd need a, some, a lightning port or USB-C to USB-C. I'm not sure how that works. I don't uh, have that uh, down yet. Last thing, let me just talk about value because, uh, you know, I was talking with my son and he was looking, looking at what I was looking at and he said, those, those little things are $300 or whatever it is. And, and it does seem a lot for three little boxes, but just consider a few things. First of all, how much you spent on a camera, a lens, accessories, cages, all these things, batteries that add up, those add up real, real quick. And I think the value you spend on audio is going to uh, increase your production value by many folds uh, that of the price that you pay. And, and relatively speaking, it's still is pretty low. Secondly, just think of, I mean, I was thinking of buying another 
Tascam DR10. I was thinking, I have two. I shoot a lot of weddings, so miking the efficient, miking the groom. Uh, do I want to actually have another one from the DJ booth, or do I want to mic the uh, bride? But now this gives me way more options with just this one um, module that will be on one camera. And I think that is a huge, huge benefit. So that's it. Um, I hope to share a little bit more as I get testing and maybe I'll take the uncompressed audio and give it a try. And just to note, I have one Rode Wireless Go here and then one boomed above my head uh, with the wireless interview thing. And so just another way that you might be able to use this setup.